everybody. I've got another one of those large fabric journals here today. And it measures nine and three fourths by six. I've got a, a uh, crocheted bow on the front tied with some seam binding and uh, some of that lace uh, off of a tablecloth fabric back here and you know I even wash them but that was a stain that was on it but you know it just shows its age look gives it the age look that I like there's the spine and here's the back this is a napkin here and it's got a little bow with some crocheted uh, coffee dyed crochet doily piece of lace back here that's the front it's got a lace closure a little pretty uh, vintage clock on the front. And going inside, I got this this fabric at a at a state sale. These were napkins, isn't it beautiful? I didn't. Uh, this this has got to be. Sammy Jo says hello. There she goes again. Uh, somebody hand stitched this because I looked on the other side, and it's it's definitely hand stitched here. Um, and I used a safety pin with all the laces that I do uh, for the closure. And it opens up. And it's got a card to write on. And a little mini booklet. And this just fits right back on here. Again, it's one of these basting safety pins and it's curved, so it makes it real nice. And I stitched around the pocket. Over here, it's been reinforced. And it's got some lace and an image with a book page here that I let hang over the edges. See? And this has got a postcard pocket. You could write something on there if you wish. And in the back, it's got a, a piece of decorative paper sewn in gold with some laces, a little embellishment, and some cards. Over here is a pocket out of a paper bag with a vintage image that I just sewed over. It's got some cards in it. And here's a, a little mini po uh, envelope. You know, I'm loving those. And some lace with some stitching, part of a book page. And it's got two, three, three little cards. I didn't see him hiding back there. See, that's why I like everything to show. That's why I like to see it, so I know it's in there. Over here is a big piece of a crochet doily with a piece of fabric. Um, that's actually fabric from this. That's the fabric part of this. Behind it. And a vintage railroad pass. Some pages with some stitching. Nice vintage ladies and a ticket card to journal on, vintage looking. And I just left this as a pullout so that you can journal back here too. Coffee state, look at how that came out. So cool. Stitched around the edge in white. Again, I let the lace from the other side peep through. And look, I'm in love with these things. They're so stinking cute. And I put some vintage business cards inside. Oh, so cute. Over here is a seam binding bow with a big piece of lace and a vintage image. And stitching down the side. Here's a big yummy pocket and a piece of a crocheted doily 
with a stitched on the edges image and a luncheon ticket with a button I sewed on and some crochet doilies and gauze background and some cards that have a lot of stitching on them and of course y'all know what these are lots of goodies over here is um, a nice image with a big piece of crochet doily and some lace and I let it hang over and then I let the seam binding hang over from the other side so you get a combination look which is really nice and this, of course, the seam binding going down. Vintage image with some more seam binding over here and a little pink coffee stained rose. Nice stitching. And a piece of that crochet doily with the lace, part of a book page there. Um, nice image. More of the crochet doily. And vintage rose. I say vintage, but it's coffee dyed. And it's not vintage. I got it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and over here is a bit is a is a postcard image, corrugated butterfly, and book page that I let hang over the edge. See? These I found in my stash. I can't remember where I got them, but they're like fossil leaves. And it's it's a real leaf. Um and it's really neat. It's textured. Got all the lines. I can't, I can't remember where I got it, though. But I've had them for, for a while. And a piece of lace here. And over here is a pretty uh, image. And got a, a little shell here with a shell button. And some stamped muslin part of a doily, another part of a different kind of a doily. Isn't that stinking cute? Oh my god. And it's got two little tickets in it. To write on. God, I love that. And then I put a big stitched card in one of my little booklets. Gosh, I'm, I, y'all, I'm just crazy over that. Just crazy over it. This is the middle of the book, and I used two of those big pages for the background here. And it's got the muslin sewn ruffle with some tags here, and seam binding here, and some of that frayed uh, stuff I like to use. And in here is a secret double pocket. It's got a pocket in the front, and it's got a pocket in the back. Y'all see that? Nice place to hide something. And both sides are the same. Got one there. One there. I just love the way that looks, though. That's real pretty. Real pretty. And I zigzag the edges. Over here's another postcard pocket. And that's a real stamp. That's a real stamp. I got a whole bunch of a uh, guy, um, you know, the thought just occurred to me. I, don't, I think, uh, what was the movie? It had Richard Pryor in it, and he, he was going to get a fortune, but he had to spend a, a million dollars to get it. And he got a stamp with an upside-down airplane on it. And um, he mailed it, a letter with it, because he couldn't keep any of the money. He had to get rid of it all. And... Uh, Anyway, I got this in an estate sale, so that may be worth a fortune, and I don't know it because I didn't look it up. But he had them all in, like, little little stacks. He was a stamp collector. Some stitching there on the page itself and then on the image. Little dressmaking card. And a little small booklet. Different pieces of paper in it. That's one of my pages that I like to make. <laughs> And Sammy Jo says hello yet again. She's just excited to be here today, isn't she? She's, I think she's barked in every one of my videos. Piece of lace back here with a vintage image. Seam binding with some of that frayed stuff, yarn string stuff I like to use. And then the book page from the other side peeps through here. And there's the book page. And there they go, all of them, out the door. 
and here's a ticket here with a rose and a real pretty image some birdies again it gives you two places you have this to journal on and this and I used over here one of my Tiffany and Company patches and it's got some ruffled lace up here with a little bit of seam binding sewn in with it too a real pretty image with uh who can guess what all these images are I bet y'all can't guess it's got some stitching there and some cards I love these big books because they hold bigger pieces of paper sometimes I don't feel like journaling a whole bunch and I like to use a smaller book but I also like to have a bigger book for when I have more to say so that's kind of neat stitching down here and again the lace from the other side peeps over the vintage rose here and a part of a book page some stitching here and over here I used a big piece of lace with a corrugated butterfly and then a smaller piece of lace over it with the book page again it shows through to the other side and some of that thready material and lace over here is a lace pocket with a half of a crochet doily one of those images again in the gray and it's got a postcard and I put a little safety pin here with a little a little birdie little birdie charm it kind of hangs down a newspaper clipping card to journal on coffee dyed on the back <clears throat> stitching some of that thready stuff again that I like to use with a lace background and over here but corrugated butterfly ticket you can journal on these too don't forget about them you can write your dates you can write something special on there you can glue something special on there here's a card I mean a card an envelope with a card in it coffee dyed paper and I let the crochet doily from the other side hang over and it has a book page behind it and a tag it's not a tuck spot but it has a tag for writing stitching here and stitching here over here is a lace pocket with seam binding for the top and then a background image just for pretty with some journaling cards that's one of my favorites another card and stitching down the side that's so pretty I love that one and it's got some it's lace with the book page in the background and here's the other half of that uh, paper bag with some ephemera on the back a little bit of stamping going on and I put two little pieces of ephemera for journaling and you know my, my stuff holds a lot more so you can add stuff to it over here is another giant pocket it's a double pocket and, and one of those cute little envelopes with some little little journaling spots and it's it's done in lace um, with some gauze and hearts and a bow seam binding a piece of ephemera and in the front pocket I've got a piece of ephemera here and one of those pages that I like to make and in the back pocket piece of ephemera one of those papers that I make it's all grungy and stamped and ooh, what's this granddaddy's oyster bacon stew oyster bacon stew this was my grandfather's recipe for oyster stew I bet you could take out the oysters and add shrimp or really whatever you want because it's got the celery 
Oh, it's got heavy cream in it. Bacon, green onions, Cajun seasoning, which will probably be Tony Satchery's. You can probably get that at any grocery store. Chopped celery. Doesn't have onions or bell pepper in it. You know, that's the trinity. Celery, bell pepper, and onions is the trinity here in Louisiana. That's You, you put it in everything. Because that's where your flavor from comes from. You saute it and cook it down. So, One of our favorite additives. This uh, pocket is made out of a book page. So you got a double pocket here, which is nice, and then the lace from the other side peeping over. Piece of muslin sewn in gold, lace in the background. Pretty image, and here's the back. God, this is so pretty. This is just beautiful. So vintage looking. And that's part of that napkin from the other side. Of course, you know, it was only stitched on the folded part that you could see. And then that's the other part of it. And it's got a safety pin closure with lots of goodies, lots of fabrics. And I put in the infamous snippets and a little mini booklet. Just a little mini. And that's part of the cover here. And I shall put this back on. Yumminess, just yumminess. That's the lace closure, and here's the back again. I like doing when I and I dyed coffee dyed that too. I did not coffee dye this or this, but I like the you know I y'all know I'm all about that contrast. I just love it. So this was probably white, but I coffee dyed it, and then um, I I throw it in the dryer. There's a spine. And there's the front. I want to thank y'all for being here with me. If you hung out through all these videos today, I appreciate it. And I will see you probably Friday. Bye-bye.